Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to that one uncle guy. Today we're going to be continuing our Victoria 2 series as Sweden. In the last episode, it was actually been a little bit since the last episode, but I believe we lost that war against Russia because Germany's like, hey, we're out. No. And then that happened and now we're in the 15th power slot. We went from 8 to 15. No, it was 8 to 18. We've, we've worked our way back up to 15. But it was very unfortunate because we had 70,000 men pushing south and we would have pretty much wiped out the Russians and then turned to help them against the French, but the Germans decided to surrender. So that's unfortunate, but it's what happened. So we are currently working on expanding our colonial ability um, uh, through research, though we don't really have a lot of territory here. So we're, it's going to be a little tough to expand unless we take... Uh, the Spanish territory here and potentially Ottoman territory before the colonization begins which it probably will within the next I don't know when does I don't even remember when colonization colonization normally starts in the game but I would like to potentially try to go up against the Ottomans who are the Ottomans friends uh, that's not happening what about Spain I, I know we consider the Austria it's doable it's doable uh, German military strength is still above them, although when you combine the Netherlands in with that, it worries me. So, I don't know, we, we'll probably have to wait a little bit for that. Uh, what's our military strength? Yeah, 25. It's not great. It's really not great. Oh, whoa, this used to be higher. Well, that went down. Is it, Are we not funding something? No, we're funding everything. Um, although the economy isn't necessarily in great situation clearly uh it's bouncing back a bit uh hopefully this is gonna go up because that's a lot lower than i'd like it to be um in that case you know what? let's actually just raise this because it appears we can afford it so let's raise it to like 65 percent try to keep our troops in some decent amount of um, some decent condition uh can we support it mm, no no uh, that could be temporary is it bouncing back no it's not Pull it to 60%. Nope, 50%. And we'll keep it at 50. I'm comfortable there. Alright, so yeah, I guess that means in the meantime we're just going to keep waiting. So let's just raise the speed and weight. Collectivism. And hopefully eventually be able to go to war with uh, Spain and take some more of their t uh, territory. Potentially Dutch territory too. Do they own anything? They do own a little bit. No, that's Liberia. Here, they own a little bit of territory right here. Uh, Spain owns some islands here. But it does have a little bit of territory, not a lot. We could also maybe try to take bits of Egypt, but... Or, or we could try to take some territory from Oman. I'm just trying to go everywhere we can to try to get an edge for colonization. Even Portugal, whose friends... Portugal is allied with Spain. So we'd actually be going to war with Portugal as well who would, um, who, how's their military looking? Their military is exceptionally powerful as well, or at least in this situation, because we're not going to be going in with a lot of friends. Uh, actually, Germany might be able to bring in uh, the United Kingdom. King, we're not surprised. What? 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 What just happened? What? Somebody? Blah? Oh. Conquest of Swedish West Morocco? Oh, I remember. Now we were doing it anyway. Or No. Fools of Spain declared war on us. Whoa, sorry, I have no clue what just happened. Did we declare war on them, or did we declare war... Or did they declare war on us? What just happened? Newspaper! I don't remember, it's been a long time since I did the last episode of this. Um, crap. Um, shoot. Britain, help! Friends! Call in the Germans! Germany, call in everybody, I don't know what's happening. Um, okay, um, okay, let's be serious now. <clears throat> um, if we win this war, this could catapult us back into the great power status. So let's see, do we have a war goal on them? Spain acquires Swedish West Morocco. So they want to get our territory back from us. No, sir. Let's go, let's take that. Uh, can we add a war goal yet? Or no? Not yet. Alright, I want to get as many war goals we're going to take... All of this, we're going to try to take the Dutch land as well. Ooh, my mouse looks weird. That's odd. I don't know if that's showing up as camera, or on the uh, camera or the video, but... Yeah, my mouse is just a bunch of lines right now. Ooh, can we win this? 
29 versus 29. Let's start funding the uh, fleet a little bit. We might need to go into debt again. Let's go to the budget. Everybody gets everything. Max out taxes again. And tariffs have to go up. Education has to go down. Oh my god, do we have to max out tariffs too? My goodness. Even that's barely doing it. Alright, um, crap. That's 12,000 Spanish troops right there. Okay, here's what I want. I want to take that out. Crisis averted. Okay, so I'm just like, holy crap moment right now. That's 23,000 of them. Oh, we need reinforcements or something here or we're going to lose really quickly. Okay, take these 9,000 or these men out now. 5,000 there. Take them. Quickly. Um, can you, like, do anything to stop that? No, we really can't. Oh, this is bad. We are going to call reinforcements. Um, we're going to try to fight Spain right now. Oh, crap, there's Dutch. Okay, so I want you to go deal with the Dutch troops over there. Move our navy to go and pick them up here. And then we're going to try to get reinforcements to the men over here. I don't want to mobilize unless I need to, because I don't think we need to yet. All right, you guys need to be dug in. Are you guys? No, you're going to get wrecked. Yeah, they're gone. Okay, so we've lost that territory. That's not good. Uh, breach loaded rifles. That's what we needed. Didn't we need something else? What What is left that we need for colonization? We need breach loaded rifles. Once we get breach loaded rifles, we are good to go. And we can actually start colonizing, I think, or get really close to it. Which means we're, you know what, we're going in debt no matter what we do. Throw it in education. Prep the army. What, Germany, Germany, shit's happening. Germany. Okay, they dealt with it. I got panicked for a second. I think we're going to win this because it looks like they didn't call in Portugal. So it's a little more balanced or Austria. So I think Germany's just basically going to win this for us. Oh, did they just sink my fleet? That's not good. Oh, dear. Where do we even have a fleet? Swedish Navy. Ooh! Okay, Germany. This one's on you. Yeah, we can't even get our people there now. This one's on you, Germany. Uh, can we add a war goal? Yet? No, not yet. No, this is going to be... This win's going to be on the Germans. I believe in you, Germany. You guys got this. They're sending their armies. And hopefully we can take some colonial uh, territory. <clears throat> so we are definitely... Yeah, we're going to win this pretty easily, I think. The might of the German army is now making it down south. Spain can't compete with that unless they call in the Austrians. Which it surprises me that they haven't. Oh! They must have ended their alliance with them. Interesting. Or maybe Austria declined because they didn't want to go to war with us. <clears throat> I say us as if they're scared of me. No, they didn't want to go to war with the Germans. Can I add a war goal yet? I want to add a war goal. How do, when, why can't I add my war goal? Uh, can I add one? Oh, wait. Oh, because they're out. Okay. Why can't I add one against the Spanish? The war is not going well enough, really. They're kind of getting wrecked. I mean, really, the war isn't going well enough. Crisis. What's the crisis? Okay, nobody's ever going to back that. Okay, so what do we need? What what else do we need to colonize? Colonial negotiation, mission to civilize. We have everything. Maybe we just need to keep going through, like on state and government and such. Well, let's see, state and government. Uh, all right, let's get the next one. Okay, if the war isn't going well enough now, then I don't... How? And that war is over. No, it's not. My bad. I thought it was over. Come on. We, we just took their capital. Come on. Really? How well does it need to be going? Maybe, maybe it's because they own some of our land. Maybe it's because they own the land that they wanted to take. Oh, crap. And it's over. And we didn't get anything out of it. I don't even think we got any prestige. We just lost half of our fleet and a small chunk of our army. That's unfortunate. Right, let's repay our loans. Cut this to 50. 
Uh, that kind of sucks, because now we probably have a truce with them, too. Alright, lower class to 80. You guys to, like, 80 as well. And you guys, like... You know what? We need more investors right now. That's our biggest problem. We literally just don't have enough investors. So we're going to bring down the middle class to 70 and you guys like 30. Just try to get as many investors as we can because I don't want to keep being the one that needs to fund all of these factories. Like as of right now, could they live if I did? Oh crap, I did not mean to do that. That's my bad. It's the second time I've done that. What's this? Reshuffle the cabinet. By time, sure. I don't want any major shifts right now. Can you guys survive without subsidies? There's going to be a lot of unemployed, but they cannot do it at all. They need subsidies. Yep, that's fine. Keeps people working. And you know what? Let's bring tariffs off of 100% as well. Let's keep them at, like, I think 20. I feel comfortable with. Yep, that's good. Good. There we go. All right, well, I mean, we didn't really get much out of that. I mean, it may probably knock Spain down a few pegs. Yeah, they're not a great power anymore. Two Sicilies is up there. Uh, maybe it's just we should maybe focus on Oman then. And we can try to gain some of the ter territory down here and see if we can do something with Portugal, perhaps. Uh, take some of their territory and colonize this area and try for this area as well. Because I, I don't know, it just says we can't do it. Yeah, life rating is too low. Alright, we'll just keep researching. It's all good. So yeah, maybe let's justify here on Oman and see what we can do. Go to diplomacy, justify war. I can conquest, I can demand concession. Um, yeah, conquest is way too much infamy. Like I remember that's like, yeah, risk of 22 versus, versus 5, I'll take the 5. <clears throat> so, yeah, I guess Spain must have declared war on me to get their territory back. I mean, why why would they think they could win? They must have assumed Austria would join. There's, there's no way they were going to beat Germany in that, really. And how is Germany doing? They're still not... Oh, they just rose to three. There they go. They're getting there. And the economy's not doing amazing. I think I know why. What's this? Free press? I'm cool with free press. Um, it's because I'm funding my navy, I bet. Oh, crap. Nope. I'm fine with construction. Yeah, the navy is probably doing it. Oh, cool. We already have it. Um, I didn't expect it to be done that quickly. Uh, can I get just a ton of clipper transports building and declare the war because we have time. Diplomacy, declare war. I don't get everything, right? No. All right, so I need to see. I need to go to regional map mode, and that means I want Zanzibar and Somaliland. Or Somaliland. So we're going to start with Zanzibar and go from there. Unless, can I see which has better resources yet? I can. Uh, cotton versus food. Cotton could be worth something, but I'm never going to be able to compete, right? Because that's not enough to be competitive. <clears throat> you know what, if I take, <clears throat> excuse me, oh my throat's getting dry, that's why you always bring water with you, um, when you record, so if we take Zanzibar, that gives us more options to expand outwards, because it's simply just a bigger territory, so we can go in like, I guess more areas, so we're gonna go with Zanzibar, and if we can, add a war goal, we will take Somaliland, or Somaliland. Zanzibar. Uh, we're not going to call our allies on this one. Yeah, Germany won't join. That's fine. We barely got any infamy from that. I like that. That's good. This is still not good. We could raise taxes, but I'd, I'd like to just kind of wait it out for a little bit. Elections in Sweden. I think this might be the point where liberals take control. And we'll have to see. We'll have to see if they are able to do it or not. Uh, we can actually build some more troops. Uh, let's get maybe... How many can I get? I can get... Wait, wasn't this backwards before? 
was 15 over 11, or maybe I misread it. So we can get like maybe two here, an artillery, and maybe a guard. I'm pretty okay with that. Okay, so what's the most popular here? Planned economy. There we go. And that's done. So now that I've done that and I go here, it's still not okay. So let's see. Let's, I guess, just keep doing research. Let's get breach loaded artillery because artillery is pretty useful. We just need more clipper transports because I don't think they have a navy that could really challenge us. Challenge us. What's this? Let them have full citizenship. We want to stop the whole immigration problem that we're going to have later. How many do we have? Uh, where are, actually, where are all of our ships going to be rallying? Just so I can see. Ugh. Okay, pop-ups everywhere. Um, we know exactly what we're doing here. We're going to go pro-military. We want to be able to go to war whenever we want. All right, Stockholm, get the army over there. Get you guys here, too. We're probably going to disband a good portion of this fleet. Crisis averted afterwards because, um, this is really a transport fleet. Because I know they're not going to really have m enough of a navy to challenge us, I don't think. Um, so I'd rather just go for, hold on, land economy. I'd rather just go for transport and get as many troops over there as we can. Ugh, every time there's an election, so many of these. Militarism. Alright, we're going to go militarism on this. Or actually, we can't choose. They're all the same, so let's go with that. I don't know. And everybody's starting to rally over there. We're getting the infantry. I'll let people have their faith. The reinforcements are arriving for the army. Uh, let them have full citizenship. Upper house rearranged. Yes, yes. And this isn't even at full funding and we're losing money because we have to go to full funding now. Alright, so we're going to... Yeah, we're going to have to raise taxes. I don't like the idea. But we're going to do it. Just full out, go everywhere, everything. That doesn't even put a dent in it. Oh my god, the only way we can actually put a dent in anything is this. Alright. Um, that's How many more do we have until they're all built? It's getting there. I'm working on the guards now, too. Part of the reason that we're spending so much money is because we're building so much stuff right now. So, uh, pretty soon, we won't need to deal with that. And I assume we have a few ships coming in from Africa. Yes. Fight the disease every possible means. And now we're going to go over there because I think there's a certain amount of time and we start like losing something, like war score or something because we're taking too long. Lose one militancy. Sure. I don't care. All right. Bring the fleet together. And I don't know how many of you can actually get aboard that, that many ships, but yeah, all of you. Perfect. They can carry an army much bigger than that, actually. Uh, but yeah, let's get you guys right over here. And are we any closer to this? Okay, so we got the state and government one. We just need colonial negotiations now. Interesting. So we need to hurry up with this war. And we need to get both of these. Otherwise, we're not going to get anything. Any colonial possessions at all, really. Whoa, what? Oh, we're already engaging? <laughs> okay, that's fine. I mean, we have a bit of a fleet here. We have two mana wars and a frigate, so we have a little bit to protect us in case something bad happens. Venezuela goes bankrupt. Hey, people are actually looking for us to money or um, to get money now. That gives us a war goal if we ever want to use it. Um, let me see. So the only thing we don't apparently have enough of is colonial negotiations, but I'm okay to just do some military research, so. Let's get, yeah, let's get the morale up. And we can enact some stuff. What what are people lobbying for right now? Uh, movements, voters' rights, but it's not very popular right now. Most people just want free press. Uh, let's give them free press. Here you go. Excuse me, where's the fleet? The fleet is getting closer. It's still a decent ways away. 
We just need a land, take as much territory as we can. Just go, your troops, the troops, you're ready. La oh, there we go, land, land, go, go, go. Land the army. International crisis, another one. Ah, it's the same one. Oh! Ooh, hoo -hoo. look at that. This is good. No, this is really, really good. Because Spain's backing you. The United Kingdom hasn't taken side. If Germany can win this, they can take Austria. Oh, no, 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 no peace yet. No peace yet. Um, they can seriously start to weaken Austria, which is going to be very beneficial. Oh, I probably should have taken that. That's all right. All right, now get you over here. Take that. Can I add a war goal yet? I would like to. I could just. Can I justify it? No, I can't. So I'm going to be taking the full brunt of this, but uh, Somaliland, proceed. I'm willing to take that and research military. Sure, statistics, why not? Okay, so now if I were to go and see this, do I get everything I want? Proceed. And now this is our territory. There we go. So now we've got a little bit more territory. Maybe we can uh, look at uh, Portugal now. I'm actually tempted to keep this army here. Let's see. Let's get ourselves a naval base here. And here, move the army south here. They are allied with the Netherlands and Spain. However, this might be the perfect time to actually get involved in that. Because they're going to be fighting a whole war now. It's Germany and Spain versus France and Austria. And I don't know where these two are going to go. Ooh. Germany's going to lose. I think Germany's going to lose this. Now that Russia's joined. It all, two Sicilies could make a difference. But, yeah, they're interested in supporting Austria right now. Let's see who are they going to join. Let's see. Uh, okay, so the war's happening. So let's pause it for a second. Let's go over our options. We could try to take some land from Portugal. Um... Yeah, we could try to do that, but we cannot count on German support. They are in their own war now that, frankly, they're most likely going to lose. Because I don't see how they could beat France, Austria, and Russia. I mean, the Ottomans could play a part, but that's 34 against 109. And they're mobilized right now. So, that's not going to help. But Spain, Spain is 70, plus the German 110. That's... France's army alone could beat Germany and pretend and challenge Spain. I just don't think it's gonna happen. That's unfortunate for Germany. That's not great for us. Because they're our only ally that we really have. Oh, I got prestige. So what are we still waiting on? We still just don't have enough. It's getting closer though. The life rating is getting higher, so. Colonization is gonna begin very soon. So Portuguese Africa, do we wanna go for it? I could do it to just acquire states. They're protected by Spain, which means I'm going to war with the Netherlands as well. And how big is the Portuguese army? What, um, so Portugal is at 25. I'm personally at 35. Plus Spain, who is at 72. I just don't know if it's going to really be worth it at that, because that's like a lot. Yeah, no, I'm not helping beat the Germans. With military access. Okay, so what do people want this time? What movements do we see? Suffrage and voters' rights. So, let me see. So, you have a lot voting or lobbying on that. So, we have five. That's still a low amount of our population, though. Yeah, you know what? Let's let them get a little... Let's get them... You know what? They gotta want it. They have to want it. Okay? And not more than 5% of the population. Come on. Uh, I'm just debating. I don't think we could win that war if we were to get involved in it. I really don't. But at the same time, would, would the Netherlands get involved in that? I don't know. It's risky. It's very risky. Alright, you know what? Let me see. So Portugal, if I were to justify on you... Uh, I would be doing place in the sun. What's this do? What 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 does place in the sun give us? Do we get all of these colonial states? 
Okay, so I guess we get all the colonial states. So that's probably what we would do. But that would be an interesting war. I mean, we could actually build up our army a lot more right now. We can afford to really increase the size of our army, um, which would definitely allow us to challenge them. But I don't know. You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. We're basically at the end of the episode right now. So I'm going to do a quick overview of both sides. And you guys in the comments can let me know what you think. Um, I'll look at you guys' opinions and make a decision based off that. So where we are right now, Spain is in a war that they're going to lose. So their army is going to be hurting after this. But we do risk going to war with the Netherlands, whose army is at 33. Spain, whose army is at 57 mobilized. Um, and Portugal, who is at 25 right now. And we are currently at 35, and I doubt we could count on German support. Uh, actually, no, we're at 36. But we can also add a lot more, like nine more soldiers here. And we're not mobilized. So we do have the potential to really increase our strength. It's just a matter of do we want to fight that? Do we want to risk losing that? And potentially maybe even losing some of our own colonies. So I think we have a chance of winning it. If I had to say we have a chance, but it would be tough. So, yep, you guys can let me know what you think below in the com in the comments below, and I'll take that into consideration. But this is going to be it for this episode. If you guys did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now.